Hi, before we start, I wanted to give you a quick information about our course. So within this course, we have two main sections, and this is the main reason why this course is one of the most comprehensive ethical hacking courses ever created online. In the first section, we're going to see how to use ethical hacking tools in order to understand how hackers do their attacks on computers, on networks, on systems, on websites, and on users. And of course, we're going to see how to stay safe against these attacks as well. On the top of that, we're going to learn a programming language called Python, and we're going to use this Python in order to write our own ethical hacking tools. So with these two sections, we're going to complete our ethical hacking course. Of course, you may think that I already know everything about ethical hacking tools. So can I jump into the Python section? Of course you can do that. You can go to section 26 and start from that as well. But if you don't have any prior knowledge, I suggest you start from section 1 and follow all the lectures up until to the very end. Because this course is designed to start from scratch and take you through to the, all the details along the way. And before we continue, I just wanted to show you some very common terms. We're going to learn a lot of terms, a lot of new phrases during the course. And I will explain everything on the way, but these are some terms that we use a lot in the cybersecurity, in the ethical hacking, so I just wanted to give you a heads up. Vulnerability means weakness in a system. So hackers actually try to find some vulnerabilities, try to find some weaknesses, and they leverage that weakness in order to gain unauthorized access. And that leveraging process is called exploit. So we find vulnerabilities and we exploit them. We use that weakness in order to gain some unauthorized access. And this process is called penetration testing. Sometimes we refer this as pen testing. If we say we try to pen test this system or we try to pen test this website, it means that we are searching for vulnerabilities and ways to exploit those vulnerabilities in order to gain access. That's what hackers do. And Python, as I said before, is a programming language, a very popular one indeed. Most of the tools that we're going to use in the ethical hacking will be written by Python and also we're going to learn about this Python and we're going to write our own tools with that programming language later on. And you have to be in mind that this is an ethical hacking course. So you're going to see how hackers do their attacks in real life, but you have to stay in the legal boundaries in order to avoid any trouble. So we're going to work in safe environments and I'm going to explain you how to stay away from trouble, how to stay safe, how to stay in legal boundaries during the course. But always bear in mind that ethical hackers are allowed to perform penetration tests, are allowed to find vulnerabilities, find weaknesses so that administrator of the related systems can fix it in order to prevent attacks from bad hackers. So bad hackers are called black hat hackers and ethical hackers are called white hat hackers in general convention. So now if you're ready, we're going to stop here and within the next section, we're going to set our ethical hacking lab in order to start learning about all this ethical hacking stuff.